my dog died. <laughs> he got rabies. They, um, I had to put him under. I looked up rabies on the internet. It's an acute viral infection. It's transmitted through infected saliva. I guess he must have been bitten by something that had it. Maybe a fox or a raccoon. Bats can have it, too. It travels from the bite to the spinal cord up to the brain. Then the victim gets a really high fever and uncontrollable excitement and then spasms of the throat muscles. That's what causes them to salivate. They can't swallow water. Another word for the infection is called hydrophobia, which of course means fear of water. I mean, can you imagine not being able to swallow? That must suck. We had a funeral for him. Well, my sister and me did. I think I was supposed to say something, but I just couldn't think of anything to say. I just stood there, frozen, like an idiot. My brain went numb. And that's never happened to me before. I mean, there's always something going on up there, right? Even in the subconscious, people meditate just to clear their minds. I don't get that. I don't ever want to have a clear mind again. I guess I was thinking by burying him that I'd get some closure or I'd feel his presence there or something, and I didn't. And that just freaked me out, so I, I don't know. I mean, have you ever had someone close to you die? And you can't stop thinking about them and what's happened to them. It's like you're stuck. In that morbid place. And there's so much death around that you feel like your head is going to explode. And it makes you think that you're not even there. That maybe you're dead too.